Hello again, YouTube. Alright, so it's Tyree Zach again. And, uh, let's see, what do we have here? I'm back in Georgia again. Riley, my dog, is unfortunately not here at the moment. We're going to pick him up tomorrow. And I am going to be playing Broken by Nine Inch Nails in the background. It's probably my favorite EP by them. Probably my fourth favorite release overall by them. There's the Saw Bulletin. Now, anyways, this is Bad Witch. The... New album, not EP, album by Nine Inch Nails, which are now a duo, was a one-man band, but now a duo. Uh, it looks like it might not be completely clean. That's all right, though. Okay, now anyways, so I was a little kind of a little bit worried at first about this because, well, I'll tell you this. I love Not The Actual Events. I loved it. I loved it so much. I thought it was one of their better releases in a long time. Not that they really were that, that, that shaky of a thing, you know, but Not The Actual Events, I honestly think, is one of the best releases they've ever made, honestly, in my opinion. Not, not really up in the ranks of their early releases, but still great. And then they released Add Violence, which I did like at first, and I guess it, it's all right. Add Violence is okay, but... After further listens, there's just some things I just really don't really like about it, I guess. Because one thing I might bring up is that I really don't like the background world. I think that's, that song has just seemed like complete filler. Just Some of the lyrics on Less Than are kind of boring. But with this, this one is the best one in the trilogy, in my opinion. This, this album is just amazing. Am I there? It's the best in the trilogy, but I would honestly say it's probably their fifth best release they've ever done, personally, in my opinion. It's probably one of their most diverse projects. It has, it's obviously influenced by Black Star by David Bowie. It has some jazz in it. It's probably, honestly, one of Trent's most experimental releases, arguably. It's a... The fact that he's 50 years old and can make music like this is just incredible, dude. Alright, that's it. Bye.